Guidepost of Silent Illumination by Hong Zhe. Silent and serene, forgetting words, bright clarity appears before you. When you reflect it, you become vast. Where you embody it, you are spiritually uplifted. Spiritually solitary and shining, inner illumination restores wonder. Dew in the moonlight, a river of stars, snow-covered pines, clouds enveloping the peak. In darkness it is most bright, while hidden all the more manifest. The crane dreams in the wintry mists. The autumn waters flow far in the distance. Endless culpas are totally empty. All things completely the same. When wonder exists, in serenity, all achievement is forgotten in illumination. What is this wonder, alertly seeing through confusion, is the way of silent illumination and the origin of subtle radiance. Vision penetrating into subtle radiance, is weaving gold on a jade loom. Upright and inclined, yield to each other. At the right time, they interact. Drink the medicine of good views. Beat poison smeared drum. When they interact, killing and giving life are up to you. Through the gate, the self emerges and the branches bear fruit. Only silence is the supreme speech. Only illumination, the universal response. Responding without falling into achievement. Speaking without involving listeners. The 10,000 forms majestically glisten and expound the Dharma. All objects certify it, every one in dialogue. Dialoguing and certifying, they respond appropriately to each other. But if illumination neglects serenity, then aggressive appears. Certifying and dialoguing, they respond to each other appropriately. But if serenity neglects illumination, murkiness leads to wasted dharma. When silent illumination is fulfilled, the lotus blossoms, the dreamer awakens. A hundred streams flow into the ocean, a thousand ranges face the highest peak. Like geese preferring milk, like bees gathering nectar, when silent illumination 
reaches the ultimate, I offer my teaching. The teaching of silent illumination penetrates from the highest down to the foundation. The body being shunyata, the arms in mudra. From beginning to end, the changing appearances and ten thousand differences share one pattern. Mr. Ho offered Jane to the Emperor. Minister Zhang Ru pointed to its flaws. Facing changes as its principles. The great function is without striving. The ruler stays in the kingdom. The general goes beyond the frontiers. Our school's affair hits the mark straight and true, transmitted to all directions without desiring to gain credit.